everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial by The Butler. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Audacity. Um, for those of you that don't know, Audacity is a video, or not video, audio editing and or recording program that basically lets you just store any audio files that you have, um, convert audio files, record yourself, um, remix music if you're so inclined, um, pretty much whatever you want to do with audio. It's great and it's free, which is always a plus. I'm going to show you how to get it today. First, you're going to go to the first link in the description, which I don't have up, unfortunately. Uh, but the link will look something like this. Then once you open that up, you can then hit new and hit save. And save to desktop or somewhere that you know it'll be just out of habit. I save to desktop. And then once that's done downloading, you're going to go to the second link which should be the lame mp3 encoder page which is this page right here then you want to go to you're going to want to go down here where it says for audacity on windows and click the whatever i'm not reading all that gibberish dot zip file save that to your desktop as well or the same location as your last download uh, once that download is done you can close out that page won't be needing it anymore then you're going to go to your desktop, and it should just be right here if you have your icons on, but I have mine off. So, you're going to go to your desktop, and find the file, the downloaded file, I mean. Um, Audacity, 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 there it is. Hit run, go to next, accept, next, next. Choose where you want to install it. Next, leave those two checked. Next, install. Shouldn't take too long. Then go ahead and launch Audacity. Just so we don't have to do it later, we're going to go ahead and have it. Um, what's the word? Locate the lame file that we downloaded, the MP3 encoder. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what that is, it basically just allows Audacity to export sound files as um, MP3s and hang on. Okay, sorry about that. We just had a couple of interruptions from some unwanted people. Um, yeah, we are going to now, I don't really remember where I stopped last time, so... We're going to go ahead and lo I just locate the LAM MP3 encoder. So yeah, go up here, click record, and record whatever you want. By the way, the record button is a little red. I don't know. And then it doesn't really matter what you say because we're just going to delete it anyway. So yeah, once you're done recording something, hit stop, go to file, and hit export as MP3. Go to your desktop and type in whatever you want the file to be called, it doesn't matter. Just hit save and it'll pop up and say, would you like to locate the lame underscore, I guess, enc dot dll now, hit yes. Now you're going to go to wherever you saved the lame zip file. Mine is over here. Somewhere. No. Oh, whoops. Actually, first you're going to have to extract it. Because it is a zip file. Wow, I feel stupid now. Yeah, so find the lame thing, double click it. And. I'm going to extract to your desktop. If you don't have a WinRAR, then just go download it and everything will be okay. Go to
to open up Audacity again, export as MP3. Uh, the event will be named, save, yes, yes. And then, there it is, right there. So yeah, hit open. Now save it as MP3. Okay. Now, later on, just go and delete that because um, you don't really need it. Unless you <coughs> have some sort of emotional attachment to it because you recorded it. If you do, you're weird. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to show you some little cool effects you can do to your voice. Uh, record something, doesn't really matter what. And right here, this is the audio track that you just recorded. Highlight it. By default, your highlighter tool is selected. Just drag out here somewhere and drag back. It'll turn dark blue. That means you have it, you have it highlighted. Go to Effect. Um, these are pretty much like the menu name would imply. Just all the effects that come with Audacity. You can do some pretty interesting things depending on... Don't you hate it when they're shouting people in the background? Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's freakishly annoying. Anyway, like, if for some reason you're making, like, I don't know, um, maybe a Halloween recording of yourself, for Halloween to freak people out, you can have yourself saying something and then turn the pitch way down. And then, if you play it, it'll have your voice distorted. You know, let me turn it up so you can hear it on here. This is what I just said. I'm just going to show you some little cool effects you can do to your voice. Um, yeah, so that's my voice, if you could hear that. And if you couldn't, um, I'm sorry. I might add it in later as a separate file in post-editing. But, uh, yeah, if you want to undo that, just hit, go up to edit, hit undo, or control Z. You can change the speed. It'll do the same thing as the pitch, but it'll also change the speed. If you want to um, change the speed but keep the pitch the same, uh, go up to here, change speed, just pay attention to the percentage, and go to effect, change pitch, percent change to I get the opposite of the percentage that you just changed it. So mine was 21, so I'm going to put it negative 21, so I'm going to put it plus 21. And that should slow your voice down, but make it sound the same. So you won't sound like this. And if you speed it up, you won't sound like a chipmunk. You'll just sound like your normal self, just talking faster or slower. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to have more tutorials on Audacity later on. I don't really know when. I might do one tonight. I don't know. It just depends on what I feel like. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can tell you people. Um, no, just the usual subscribe, rate, comment, please rate it, or comment, but preferably rate, I don't really care if you subscribe or not, I mean subscriptions are good, but whatever. Um, also, if you get the chance, go to Tutorial Dude 101's page, he's got great tutorials as well, uh, Gears of Lard, it's a, me and my friend, it's a couple of videos we've made. Uh, the Cellulite King, that's one of my friends, he's got some interesting videos, and that's all I can think of right now, so yeah, have fun, don't die.